Hello, good afternoon, and this afternoon I'm going to show you how to switch off your OM606 that is equipped with a mechanical pump, hopefully a Diesel Pump UK mechanical pump. <laughs> so this is the mechanical pump example that we're going to use. This is 603 and early 606 mechanical pump, and they both have a vacuum style stop on the top there. And basically how it works is when you turn the key off uh, in the factory cars, like the W124s that these were fitted to, a vacuum signal would come to this and it would suck on this module and it would basically push the stop lever back and it would turn off the engine. Now that vacuum signal comes from the switch, the key switch in a 124. They have a half electronic, half vacuum switch. How do we do it when we're doing conversions and builds and Nissan patrols and Land Rovers and all the other things that we build? We use these. And this little thing I call the vac stop solenoid. Vac stop solenoid. It's basically an electronic solenoid that switches the path of air. With the pipe work is explained on the diagram. This front port here is the vent. So that needs to go to like a little filter or just put a pipe and a U piece. Just don't let anything get stuck in the end of it. This one says pump and that means injector pump. The back pipe is vacuum to the actual vacuum source in the car. Now on the back, we have the plug. Now, if you're wondering, because these little solenoids don't come with a plug, where does the plug come from? Well, that is the plug off a W210 washer bottle, the level sensor plug, I think it is. So if you've got a 210, you've got a washer bottle, take it off. If you don't, you can just push on a round terminal onto the back of these, which most people do. Now also, it doesn't matter which way around these go. This will work that way or that way. There is no polarity issue. So don't worry about it. You can't get that wrong. All you need to remember is it's live when the engine is running. What's the opposite of live? Not live. It's not live. It's negative. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's yeah, it's not live when the engine is switched off. And that's all you've got to remember. Because obviously you can't have this live with your ignition off, it'd flatten your battery overnight, it wouldn't make any sense, would it? This is going to mimic the vacuum pump on an OM606. The battery is gonna mimic the ignition supply. You know what an ignition supply is. You might not know what the vacuum pump is. This is the vacuum pump on a 606. This little thing here, this is where the vacuum is created. Obviously these diesel engines can't create vacuum in the intake because they don't have a throttle blade. So vacuum comes from this. We're pretending that the vacuum is coming, the pump is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend we've got the ignition switched on by putting this on here. Now, when, when I connect that to there, you can hear a little click. You can hear it click as I touch that on there. So that's live now. There's 12 volts currently going to that. And that can be left on there permanently. It's designed for that. So we're pretending we've just turned the ignition on. Uh, and you could even pretend that we've started the engine. That stays live the whole time the vehicle is running. So this, this thing here it is gonna be our vacuum pump and we're gonna suck that, I'm gonna pump that up and that's gonna bring us down to a, a reasonable vacuum pressure. Ignore the gauge on that, it's not correct. That is now mimicking negative vacuum pressure. So the vacuum's coming to here to the valve but going no further. Because you've got to imagine, while that engine is running, you can't have a vacuum leak. So you can't just divert it to a vent because obviously you'd have no uh, vacuum for your brakes. So it has to seal the path where the vacuum's coming from. So to the valve and then to the pump, but obviously there is no vacuum currently going to the pump because we can see the levers fully forward. So I'm, I'm gonna do an, a, a pretend a simulation of me turning the ignition off. So as I turn the ignition off, I'm gonna take this wire off and watch what happens when I take the wire off. So look at this and this simultaneously. Ready? So as I have taken the ignition off, you can see what's happened is the lever has pulled back, made the engine stop. So now we're gonna cycle the key back on again. So I'm gonna put this back on again. So as I put this back on, it comes back forward. Now, when that goes back forwards again, it had to evacuate that vacuum out of here. It had to evacuate it out because it, it can't just 
flick the switch, the vacuum would still be there and that couldn't come forward. So that is what the vent port is for. When we make that live, the vacuum then is ex... Uh, <laughs> it's hard to describe vacuum because it's backwards. Um, the vacuum is dispersed, pressure comes into this point and it defeats the vacuum. So that's it basically. Um, and we have one other method of doing this. Um, so this solenoid we use on 99% of the build. We have another method of doing this if you come and have a look at the GMC. Oh, it's a bit of an exclusive this because you get to see these, these billet bezels that have only just been finished. Um, so in this, in the GMC, we have a button. That basically does the same job, but this is fully mechanical. So instead of being electronic, we have a pneumatic vacuum stop. So when we push this, it makes a cool behind the dash. And that kind of gets me going a little bit, you know what I mean? But like I say, 99% of builds, people want to just switch off with a normal ignition key. And that vacuum stop solenoid is the key to success. Bye for now.